Hey everybody, it's Gypsy. Uh, I have a couple of updates that I find pretty exciting myself. Uh, the first thing is today physical therapy uh, came in to work with me and she had uh, spoken to the ortho doctor and the ortho doctor said while doing physical therapy and working on range of motion, we could take off the brace. So we did that, and he said to work on moving my knee. So I did that. Uh, before she started, she looked at me and she goes, you know, this is not going to be easy. I said, I know, I've tried a couple times to move my knee on my own, and it hurts like hell. So it was, it was really, really excruciating. But we took off my brace, and I moved my knee. Now, it wasn't the full range of motion of bending my knee, but I did it. Yes, so she told me to keep working on those. Uh, it was really exciting because that was the most important thing to me. One, because again, I wanted to stave off the arthritis and my knee replacement for as long as possible. And I told her, as soon as I can bend my knee easily and you know without pain enough to drive uh, you know, to get in my truck. The first thing I'm doing is going to the nursing home to visit my mother. And the therapist goes, that's a very uh, good reason to get your your knee to bend. So um, that's, uh, let me do that. Um, what else was there? Oh, I asked her, I said, another physical therapist told me uh, no homesteading this year, no gardening, nothing like that. I said, what is your opinion? And she said she agrees. She goes, you do not want to get down on the ground. Uh, it's gonna be too hard to bend your knee that much and then get back up and working the ground and stuff like that. She says it's too hard of work for the injury and surgery I just had. She said, wait till next year and see how you feel then. She says, this year is a definite no-no. That's uh, very disappointing to me because it's my, been my dream to do a homestead and for some reason things just keep getting in the way. So I'm not happy about that. But the next good news is I have been here eight days and I'm out of here today, this afternoon. Transport is supposed to be arriving at four, which means it's probably gonna be more like six, but four o'clock. Uh, they're scheduled for to take me to the skilled nursing facility that I chose on my side of town where I was born and raised um, to get more physical therapy. I'm hoping mostly for, I, well, I do have to strengthen my right leg more and my hand, and my arms with the walker. So I have to work on that, the occupational therapy. So I'm not afraid to do, I mean, do things like taking a shower is terrifying to me, terrifying. Uh, things like that. So I'm getting more, I'm gonna get more therapy there. And while I'm there, I'm gonna look for a place to stay in Ohio while I'm recuperating. Um, but anyways, to me, that's exciting news because I told you guys I have been fighting my insurance company since day one. My surgeon, after surgery, he said, when you leave the hospital, I want you to go to rehab hospital and then skilled nursing after that. And then you can have outpatient after that. So <laughs> my, my uh, insurance company may have another fight on their hands after I'm out here because yeah, I'm gonna fight for that too. Because this is what my surgeon told me after surgery. And they, well, the insurance company thinks they know more than my surgeon and my other doctors. Uh, and they don't, they're not doctors, they, they, oh, they just, well, my doctor here, <coughs> excuse me, the attending doctor, he says to me, did you tell me you, you were going to drop this insurance company? <coughs> I said, <coughs> excuse me, I said, yes, as soon as uh, open enrollment starts, they're gone, I'm getting a new one. He goes, good. He goes, because your insurance company, Humana? He goes, I called them Inhumana. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But anyway, so I'm going there. Uh, hopefully, you know, if I, depending on how I feel about my progress when I leave there, I know I'm not going to be there long. Um, I like to get outpatient. I can 
do that. Hopefully I'll be driving by that time. I think I will be. So I could go to outpatient or they could, or it could be in home, I don't know. But we'll just see, I'm just gonna see how it goes, but I'm really excited I'm able to get more. I was not uh, comfortable with my progress and it was terrifying for me to be out on my own. So anyways, that's the good news. I get to get out of here and get some fresh air. Um, you know, it's cold in Cleveland. It's a gorgeous day, it's beautiful, but it's only 37 degrees. It looks like it's warmer. Yesterday it was 50. So um, I need to get out. It's starting to get to the point where we're getting more warm days. So I need to get outside. So it's gonna be really, really good. I can't wait. I don't know if I, I wanna put on my dress, my own dress, not a hospital gown. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that now. So anyways, I'll leave you with that. Blessed be and make it a joy.